Hello everyone, this is John White from Genius Creed and welcome to the 11th lecture of this ISIS training. And learning outcomes for today is just for us to be able to operate on the absorber operation and to also determine the column design parameters. From the prerequisites is to navigate the PFD add streams in the PFD or the workbook, add or connect unit operations. Those are the three prerequisites we are going to be needing. So if you find out that you cannot do any of these, kindly refer to the previous lecture before you continue. Previous lectures rather. Now the introduction. This lecture introduces the use of Aspen Heises to model a continuous gas absorption process in a packed column. The only unit operation containing the absorber is the tray section and the only streams are the overhead vapor and bottom liquid products. Now um, there are no available specifications for the absorber which is the base case for all towards configuration in analysis. Now here's a problem statement. CO2 is absorbed into propylene carbonate in a packed color. The inlet gas stream is 20 more percent of CO2 and 80 more percent of methane. The gas stream flows at a rate of 2 meter cube per second and the column operates at 60 degrees Celsius and 60.1 atmosphere. Now also the inlet solvent flow the inlet solvent flow is 2000 kmol per hour. Determine the concentration of CO2, that's the mole percent of CO2 in the exit gas stream and the column height and the column diameter in meters. And also, we're also giving these uh, data the property package or the fluid package to use is the Salk and Robinson. The absorber internal type is packed because here it says CO2 is absorbed into propylene carbonate in a packed column in a packed column so the absorber the absorber internal type is packed now packing type is rashic rings ceramic rashic rings of 1.4 inch the correlation type is robins packing flooding factor is 1.0 the maximum um, flooding is 70 percent the maximum change in pressure per length is 0.4086 kilopascal per meter so let us go to uh isis and start a new case okay let's save our case Lecture, let's call it lecture 11. So let's see. Okay, let's add a component list. So we're just going to be needing um, CO2, methane, C. CO2 Okay and Propylene carbonate Propylene carbonate so we can move to our fluid package and select the saw pen Robinson, which is this. So we are good to go. We can move to our simulation environment to start the simulation. So we're going to be needing two inlet streams. The 
gas and the solvent let me name this solvent in the temperature is 60 degrees Celsius the pressure is 60.1 atmosphere the molar flow is um, Two thousand kilo kilogram mole per arm. Then the composition of the solvent will be pure propylene carbonate. Okay, and that is that. You can close this. And you can say this as the gas in. The temperature is um, 60 also, the pressure is 60.1 atmosphere. The molar flow is 2 meter cube per second. If you convert that to meter cube per hour, you have 7200 meter cube per hour. Which you can see here, meter cube per hour gas. So the composition should be 0 0.2 for um, CO2 and 0 0.8 for methane. I think that is all. Yeah, so this has been fully specified the gas in and the solvent in. So bringing our absorber colon here, which is this here, click on columns and repeat this. Let's drop it right here. Just wait for it to load. Okay, that's it. You can click on this. Let's call it um, absorber. Top stage inlet should be the solvent, while the bottom stage should be the gas. Now let's call this gas out. Let's call this bottom liquid product. So I think we are good to go this way. Okay, so after that, we click on next. Then the top stage pressure, we, we are told it was operating at 60.1 atmosphere, same as the bottom two 60.1 atmosphere. So we click on next. Um, the temperature to a 60 degrees centigrade. Celsius and it was 60. Then we click on um, opens these um, windows and this is unconverged. So what we just do is to run. Done. We've successfully run it and converge means the calculations were successful by Hisis. But now we were told from the question that it's a packed column, but these um, calculations are based on trees. So we are going to have to change it to a packed column, then simulate the specification of the absorber column. So we can close this. Okay, I will just like to bring this here. Okay, I think the work looks a bit better this way so um, you click on home then equipment design 
because we want to design this so let's add tray sizing it requires a tour we are going to add the tour let's call this parking now the tray section we have to select the tray section we have said our case main the absorber column then the main column then we okay to so add that so what we want to do here is um, an auto section it's packed the area of tolerances are um, constants we can use what well, those values are okay so we are told it was a ration ring a ceramic ration ring so let's come down and look for it 1.4 inch right this was what the program statement said so next so far the correlation type was robin's parking factor was 1.0 the dp per length was this but the maximum flood was 70 percent now um complete auto section okay section okay there's a one in here let's make this active so that it can use the calculation in the um in the simulation environment itself so i think that's all we can come to the performance here then okay there were there's a one in pressure exceeds one atmosphere robin's correlation may be invalid so it means uh we using the robin's co correlation might lead to invalid results but at least that's what we asked to you so let's leave it at that now when you come to um, the performance this is the trade that you click on the you click on the packed to see this from the question we are asked to find them um, the column diameter and the column height so which is this in meters and this in meters i think that these are the two values we are looking for and that is that this is the height and this is the diameter so let's go back to our simulation environment our flow sheet which is this also we want to find the um, composition of co2 in the gas outlet so we can let's just check it for you to have and from here to have a complete overview of everything so composition now we can see from here from the gas in we had 0.2 and more percent of co2 but here it is zero literally zero meaning that um the propylene carbonate has absorbed the co2 from the gas inlet so that will be all for today let's go to our slide i think there is a problem for you to solve okay we actually determine the concentration of co2 in the exit gas stream which we've done the column height in meters and the column diameter in meters which we've also done then further study change the solvent inflow rate from 2000 kilomole per hour to 2500 kilomole per hour run the simulation and see how the column dimensions and exit concentration of co2 have changed you should do this on your own you can drop the answers you get in the comments section and um, thank you also i hope you learned a lot today and do well to practice do well to practice please thank you for your time